Now, there is another application ray of this reflection of sound that is called reverberation. See, reverberation is basically the persistence of the sound in auditorium due to repeated reflection of the sounds. So, what happens suppose in case of a cinema hall, sound is suppose coming continuous, continuously and getting reflected from all round and it persists for long time, then you cannot hear any sound clearly. So, due to this repeated reflection of the sound, sound persists for the, some time here in the auditorium that is known as reverberation and it is undesirable. So, we can reduce this one by you know carpeting the covers, by making the rough surfaces or rough you know walls or you can say by using the fiber boards. So, the reverberation is also due to repeated reflections of the sound. Now, we will see uses of the reflection of sound. So, now see uses of multiple reflections of sound. First one is an example of the megaphone. What happened? This is like a conical shape, multiple reflections of sound takes place and then the sound is directed to one side. So, this is only an application of the multiple you know sound uh, reflection of the sound. There is also we can use here a horn. Horns are also here like this, there is sound is produced and directed to one side. Now, the second application is a stethoscope that is used by doctors to just hear the sound produced by heart beatings. So, here is also multiple reflection takes place and ultimately the sound is heard and we can take one more uh, application is here about the third application we can write here. Ceiling of cinema halls are always you know curved surfaces, curved ceiling of cinema hall. See, if you take the cinema halls, auditoriums, their ceilings are made curved. Why? Because the reflection of sound takes place and this sound reaches to each and every corner of the halls or the auditorium. So, these are the different applications of the multiple reflection of sound. So, now we will do range of hearing. range of hearing means is here till what frequencies we can hear clearly and after what frequencies we cannot hear. It means it has got certain range. So, basically audible range is audible range for human being is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that we can say 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So, within the range of this frequencies a human being can hear, but is no range of hearing also you know changes with the time. If there is some, if there is some defect in the eardrum or some other problems are there. So, the frequencies below this we cannot hear, this is be, uh, below this and beyond this also we cannot hear greater than this. So, here below this frequencies are referred as infrasonic and beyond this are referred as ultrasonic. It means the frequencies below 20 hertz we cannot hear. So, these are referred as infrasonic frequencies and you know these frequencies are used basically by you know elephant to communicate. Rhinoceros, elephant they communicate by using these frequencies and ultrasonic frequencies are very high frequency, they are beyond 20,000 hertz that is 20 kilohertz. These frequencies are also used by some animals like uh, bats are used, bats uses these frequencies to guess the distance of the you know obstacle or their prey. So, these frequencies we are not able to hear, but animals can you know use this frequency as well as this frequency. So, different frequencies range are used by the different animals.